Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor program. I'd like to uh, look at how the USE Minis unfolded yesterday, which was Wednesday uh, the 20th, and uh, go over using the MTP RT add-ons for Ninja Trader 7, which is what you can see here. First of all, I'd like to start by looking at the ES and just follow up what we were looking at in yesterday's trading webinar. For those who are more experienced with the software, uh, we move to the higher time frame to start looking at larger degree support and resistance areas. This is what helps define our ballpark or our large degree trend as we call it. So let's start with the ES as this is what we call the boss as it's the main uh, the main one of the four USC minis and let's go to a 15 minute chart. Right I'll just clear everything off here. What we we're looking at in yesterday's webinar and this was done <coughs> live at the time in the webinar where we was we were looking at this prior pivot here we had a right mouse click and we had a decision point and we had that on our chart. Now the important thing is that this resistance area was on our chart before yesterday even opened. That's the important thing to understand that these are leading indicators. So we knew that that was an area of where the market was likely to go to and find resistance on the higher time frame. Just going to put a little box around that uh, so it stays on there when we go down to the shorter time frame. Let's now again to go down to a three minute time frame and see how that looks like. Well as you can see that caught the high absolutely perfectly and we were talking about this in uh, the webinar as well. If we go to the YM and we zoom back and have a look at some of the other things I was looking at in particular on the YM I was looking at this swing here being the last swing down to the low and we normally go back to the, the pivot that started the last swing into a new high or low Again, right mouse click decision point, this area on the chart in advance. So I was looking at that for a resistance level and as you can see that also caught the very high of the day on the, y uh, on the YM. Then on the NQ, exactly the same kind of thing. This was the last swing down into the, the uh, low of the previous day. Right mouse click, there's our decision point level and as you can see that caught the high of the day absolutely perfectly on the NQ. But I'll look at these markets in a bit because I want to go back to the ES. In particular I want to look at what one of our customers highlighted he was actually doing his own account yesterday which is a, which is a brilliant example. Because there's one trade setup we like and it's called a holy grail trade setup. And the reason we call it a holy grail trade setup is not because it was uh, has a high potential of winners, it's because it can have the highest profit potential in relation to initial risk. That's why I think it's one of the best trades there is. And the um, step we go or the steps we go through for identifying this is first we identify a major high or an important high or low. In this case the one I'm circling here because this came in on a higher time frame resistance. In other words a higher time frame was uh, stopping the market at this level. Now there was no setup here on a three minute chart but one of our customers in our live tra trading webinar yesterday was highlighting this particular trade. I'll just clear this off and start again. It was this TS3 sell here and he cited this as a potential holy grail trade setup. So let's have a look what this means. If we place the analysis on this gives our correct position sizing with our uh, number of lots, contracts or shares. Now the difference with a holy grail trade is if I zoom out a bit a holy grail trade setup actually uh, goes for the typical wave 3 which is down here rather than the first level we've got at, the, at these uh, uh, levels here. In other words we are anticipating if this is a major high the first decline is a wave 1 the first correction which unfolds as an ABC is a wave 2 therefore we're anticipating a wave 3 type of, type of decline. So if I now place the risk reward on this which is exactly what he did in the webinar this was the level he was anticipating the market to go to and as you can see the sharp decline later in the day or during the afternoon came down and caught this low absolutely perfectly so he'd have come down here and probably taken his profit round about 6 hour profit which is a very very nice trade in, uh, indeed but the point being is this was all set up because we anticipated in advance this major resistance area and therefore he highlighted this as a trade that he was uh, looking at himself so 6R return is great because it turned an initial risk of $350 for him, 2% on a sample $20,000 account into just over $2,000 which is very good. But this did mean going down to a 2 minute chart and I know some of you don't like doing that. So were there any other of the other markets that would have actually given you a similar kind of setup? Well there were. 
because if you remember as we were skipping through on a three minute chart of the uh, NQ do you remember we had our major resistance up here here's our initial decline that would be considered a wave one here's our ABC correction this will be considered a wave two we place the analysis on here there we go just make those bars a bit thicker we place the analysis on here remember we're not going to down to the first target we're going down to the typical wave 3 WPT because that's where we're anticipating the moves going to unfold as a wave 3 so let's just place the uh, risk reward analysis down here at our typical wave 3 whoops sorry I missed that one two three and look at this for a trade initial risk kept small and under control position size and taking care of the number of contracts to trade but look at this when the profit came or when the market came down to this level here which was anticipated in advance the profit was approximately 10 times the initial risk so yes that would have turned an initial risk of approximately $400 into approximately 4000 in other words 10 times the initial risk so that the, shows the power of these holy grail trade setups and why we like them so much so all MT predictor customers should have been identifying this as a potential short trade, particularly as we are highlighting these highs, major highs in the, the trading webinar. Let's have a look at another market. I know a few people trade the Russell Index. The Russell Index had a couple of uh, attempts at some trades earlier. So it, let's have a look at this uh, with the view to um, the trade, the automatic trade setups. So even if you'd been short here, on this trade it went through the 100% initial risk you'd probably been stopped out for break even let's assume that you had done this trade and you'd had a minus one hour loss this double top here would not have had a second trade you would have had another one here this would have probably been stopped out also from minus one hour loss this one here would have probably also been stopped out from minus one hour loss these are all are they all in the direction of the large degree trend let's have a look there's a blue ah uh -huh. No, that would be black, that would be black, that would be black. So that one would also be stopped out. So let's assume a worst case scenario. So break even, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So minus 3R. Now I want to show you why position sizing is so important. Because this last trade set up here, let's put the analysis on, would have been plus 3R at the first target. However, when the market gets down to the first target, we look at our STF indicator. And if the STF indicator is beyond what we call our strength band, which is our grey lines there, we then move to our ATR stop, which is our red and blue dots, to let it run. So when it hit this level, the STF was strong, therefore we'd been running our trade all the way down, all the way down, and we would have been stopped out just about here. So let's now place the uh, risk reward on to see what this would have meant. All the way down here, stopped out about there. And just look at that. I'll just do that again just to make sure because that looks a bit good actually so there above the high down to there that's better so again a 10 R trade turning approximately $4,000 risk 2% on a sample $20,000 into just over $4,000 but the important point was even after three losing trades minus one minus two minus three 10 R profit put 10 risk units back in the bank therefore overall you're up 7R and this I thought was a brilliant example to show the true power of position sizing so I included this in today's webinar to show some losing trades to show how um, it's so important to use correct position sizing is why it's the fundamental part uh, of the MT predictor software that even when you have more losing trades than winners because the winners are so much greater than the losses you can make money overall and that's the most important point but what uh, a great place or what a great trade here are uh, to take on the Russell to be short from up there and to come down here and be stopped out at that level for a 10 hour profit amazing but for me the star of the show was the NQ because it was a perfect holy grail trade setup remember this decision point would have been on our chart in advance also backed up with the 15 minute resistance on the uh, ES again we were looking at that live in our webinar yesterday so there's no hindsight on this the standard holy grail trade setup wave one we're looking for the initial correction to unfold as an ABC which is wave two we're then anticipating the move down into the typical wave three and as you can see here the result was an absolutely fantastic 10 hour trade so overall a very very good day for MT predictor yesterday